way, we are updating a very nice luxury apartment. You know, we're putting up uh, decorative uh, lighting, and it's also functional because this bedroom doesn't have much light. Here in the country I was born in, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the brown. Red and blue are also live colors, however, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So we're going to cut a hole, fish some wires, and we'll put this light up with a, some wire bolt, and this light will be controlled by a wall switch. The landlord has a very good reputation around town. I enjoy helping him and making YouTube videos. So I hope you enjoy the video. So our stud is about right here. So I'll make my hole about right here. Right here. Alrighty, this is a drop seal on the here, so I'll put a little hole here, put a wire through. Okay, well, because it's just a little bit bigger, so we get our Romex connector through there. Okay, so we'll get our wire ready to go up to the uh, wall here. Well, you know what? I'm so blessed that there's a fire header up here. And absolutely no way to get the wire up. But you know what? I'm not going to frustrate. I'm not going to carry on. If you can't do it, you know what? You can. Just don't frustrate. See? There's a header up there. I'm going to try to poke it down from the other side. measured down to our beam. So we're just going to try to cut another hole up here. But I'll go over this way a little bit so this can be patched up. And I'll see if I can move this way some. Our beam is over about that far. So if I go up here, if I make my hole about right here, I can get a screw hole into a beam there for the light. a little bit like right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there 
There's some laughing here. You just can't let stuff like that get you frustrated. You just praise God, you thank Him for what you can do, and don't worry about if you screw up. If something doesn't go, you know what? It's not meant to be. Amen? You just don't get frustrated. Just focus on the Lord. You praise Him, you worship Him, and you just do the best you can and do what you have to do. Okay. So we'll break a little bit out up here. See, our beam is like right up here, so we're going to come in up here. So we'll go up above this. Okay, I was able to uh, get to where our wire is from the other side, and it just into a nice little crack. But the pull. Okay, we got some wire pulled up. focus on is our precious Jesus. How precious is the name. Hallelujah. Precious is the name. We don't frustrate over anything at all. Absolutely nothing. If something doesn't go right, it's not meant to be. You don't frustrate. It's not going to change anything. Okay, there's our screws. Okay, so we'll open up a hole near the top here.
and we have a wired Romex connector here that will go into the back of our box and see the little tabs here. This will lock in underneath here. We can put it right here. And see how the little tabs uh, lock it in place? Okay, make sure your eyes are focused on the Lord. Praise your Heavenly Father. Not on what goes wrong if something goes wrong. Okay, so we'll put our wire into our connector here. This way we'll screw into some wood here on a couple of these. Hopefully I'll hit some wood here. So, our, oh, you know what? I thank you, Lord, for that being crooked and having to do it again. I just praise your name, Lord. Praise your name. Just thank you, Jesus. With all the Just praise and thank you. I just can't do anything else but praise my Lord and Savior. Okay, let's try this again. Thank my Lord and Savior. I cannot find that knife, and I just have to do it the hard way. That's all. I just thank Him. I just praise Your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise His name. Don't frustrate over stuff you lose. You just praise Him. You thank Him. It's a challenge to go without it. Amen. Just praise the Lord and Savior. Worship Him. Okay, so this is our power coming in. Black is live, our white is neutral, and our wire is the brown.
Okay, so we will uh, remount our sharp edges here. And if I cannot find my drop head, so we get all our sharp edges out of here. Make sure we got both edges here on both sides all ringed out so we don't have any sharp edges to worry about cutting our wire to go down to the switch. Okay, now we'll put our switch box on here. Make sure that uh, this little lip here, on, this lip here on uh, both sides of our wire mold, go over the tab on the box. So now we'll put our piece into this up here. Let me make sure I get this nice and straight here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some wall anchors. Since I love my Lord and Savior, I'm not going to curse his name. Okay, now 
I'll finish those by hand. Get flat against the wall here. make our wire to go from our light up to our switch. with the screen screw. The ground door box. Put our wire around the screw, the direction our screw turns here. I finally got some electrical tape so we can mark this black wire or this white wire with some tape to let people know it's live. I'm not going to put too much on here because I don't want to look like it's a splice. It's just a marker to let people know that it's, a, especially with longer runs, you want to make sure when you do this, you might want to mark it so that most electricians would know that it's a switch loop and know that it's live, but an amateur may not know it's live, so that's why I marked it. And now we'll break our little tab out here.
make sure it's nice and tight, top and bottom. We're making sure we're in the track on both sides. Curve wire around the screw, the direction our screw turns. Now it doesn't matter what screen you put the black and white on. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Okay, there's our wire set to the switch. Now we can fold our wires into our box. So we push it back like this. Pull it to the ground a little bit like this. And get our black and white to go in like this. And make sure we don't have anything pushing on any sharp edges here. Because I don't want the wire the insulation on the wires to get punctured. So let's push it in and make sure it's not going to hit anything sharp. I'll curl our ground wire up a little bit so it's also make sure our screws aren't going to hit the wires. If it's not hitting the wires. Alrighty, so we're, now we're going to get ready to start hooking our uh, light fixture up. Okay, so now we're ready to figure out which one will break out. We'll break out this one down here. I continue to praise my Lord for losing that knife. Just praise Him, thank Him for everything I lost. Because you know what? It's a challenge to know without, you know? So you just praise and thank your Heavenly Father. You worship Him. Keep your eyes on Him. Keep your eyes on Him. And don't think about yourself and frustrate. Just praise Him. Green screw in here.
Okay, so we'll get all our ground wires together here. Okay, he's got to clip a little bit just so that we don't have to short this one. And we'll put our red wire nut on. Okay, so this is our neutral, so our black feed wire is going to go to our light switch wire here. This way the uh, black wire coming back from the switch is live at the light. Insulation even at the top here. Press them through nice and even like this. Clip it so we're even with the shorter one there. So now we have our black and white that's going to go to our light. And we got black feed wire to our light switch wire right out of our way here. Get it back here out of our way. Now we can put our box on here. Screw into this one and this one. They come with four screws, but only two holes are threaded for these screws. So we save our other two for other shallow boxes because this will meet the uh, size for the smaller, shallow one. So we don't throw them away and we do save them. In our track all the way around. So make sure our screw is tight. And this one's nice and tight. So we're going to screw into uh, this one here. So I'm going to make sure our wires are out of the way so that screw doesn't hit the wires. And we're going to screw into this one here. So I'll bring our wires up here and I'll ground them down over here. Straight. 
We'll put this down here. Comes with orange wire nuts here, but we're going to have to use yellow since we're using number 12. Now I'm going to shorten these screws up. So I have a screw cutter here in the uh, wire strippers here. Now just move it back and forth a few times to make sure my threads are nice and clean. Now we'll clip our other screw. Well, thank you, Lord, for making me look for that screw. I just praise your name. If I can't find it, I'll just get another one. I love you, Lord. I just love the Lord. Amen. Praise him. Praise him. And I'm glad I found it. But if I didn't find it, I would have just taken it off the Romex connector. And I wouldn't frustrate. And I'll just buy some more. That's all. It's that simple. It's very, very simple. Okay, now I'll put our ground wire around our green screw here. I'll get these washers off because this is number 12 wire and it's too thick to get the washers in there. Okay, there's our ground. Now we'll get our light fixture ready to hook up here. We'll get this going straight across here. Tight. Tight. Okay, so we have our black, which is live, coming back up from our switch. So this is our switched power, and that's our neutral. And this is our bare ground wire here. Okay, we'll strip our black and white. And I'll take these nuts off to pull, help hold our light on. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll get our wires hooked up here. We have our ground, which is our bare wire, and we have our black and white, which is our power wires here. We'll strip these a little longer so we get a nice wrap around the uh, solid wire. Okay, so we're going to use yellow wire nut since we're using number 12. Okay, we'll get our ground wire wrapped around our ground wire here. Okay, it even on the end like that. See how it's nice and even on the end? Take our wire knot, make sure we grab both conductors. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, we'll take our black wire, get our insulation even at the bottom like that. We'll wrap our stranded wire around our solid wire, and have it nice and even on the end here. See how our insulation is even down here and our copper is even on the end? And we'll put our wire nut on, make sure our insulation goes into the bottom of the wire nut. Well, thank you, Lord, that did not tighten. So after all, we may end up using the orange ones. Let's go back to ground zero. We'll get our strand straightened out. We'll wrap our strand. Oh, we're going to restrip that because some of our strands broke. Okay, so we'll get our copper even insulation even on the bottom like this. Bring our strands down like that. We'll wrap them around like that. Top even at the end, insulation even at the bottom. Put our wire nut on, make sure our insulation, our copper goes, insulation goes into the bottom of the wire nut. There we go, our insulation's up inside the bottom of the wire nut, and that's what I want. Now we'll take our white wire, get our insulation even at the top here. Wrap our strands around the solid wires like that. Have them even like that, a copper even up here, our insulation even down here. Put our wire knot on, make sure insulation is going into the bottom of the wire knot. Now it's time to tuck our wires into our box here. Make sure our wire nuts are tight, our insulation's up in the bottom there. We'll grab our fixture. We'll put our wires into our box. We'll put them into our box like this. Get our white wire down in here like that. We'll get our black one. And it's up out of our way here.
Okay, I forgot to tighten that little uh, cross piece thing there. So. I thank the Lord for my forgetfulness. I praise Him. And I love Him for my forgetfulness because it's a challenge. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Love the Lord. Praise Him. Just focus on Him, not yourself. It'd be nice if I had a socket set, but I don't, and I'm frustrated. I'm just going to be thankful for what I have. Praise my Lord and Savior and be thankful. And not complain about what I don't have. It's not going to help you. It's not going to give you what you want. Just praise and thank the Heavenly Father. Worship the Lord. Amen. Praise Jehovah. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord. Amen. Don't let anything get you down. You just praise God. Amen. Just praise Him. Keep your eyes on Him and not think about yourself. You think about the Lord. Praise Him. Okay, no wires are pinched. We're just about ready to put our uh, gloves on now. Put our little cosmetic caps on here. When we're done, I will show you the instructions. So these little rings will just hold our uh, probes on up here.
right, you will finish this up by putting our cover on our light switch. Then I will show you the box and the instructions up close. There's no power in this apartment, so I can't really show you the light working, but here in the country I was born and down is off, up is on. If the switch is upside down, it will say no. That would be how you'd know the switch is upside down. So now I will show you the instructions and the box.